Let's rock! A new Tumo Center for Creative Technologies has opened in the city of Gyumri. Tumo is a free of charge educational program for teens, teaching skills in the tech and design spheres. An abandoned theater in the city, dating back to the 19th century, was regenerated to host the tech center. The site was where the first performance of the famous Anush Opera took place. The regeneration project was led by Bernard Khouri, whilst people like Shah Simonian came from Australia to Armenia to help marry the historical and the modern in the design process. Look, the process, I think, was really a journey for everybody involved. Uh, I know Marilou, the architect uh, Bernard Curry, uh, really uh, felt very passionate about the project, partly because it was an opportunity to uh, take a building that had been left a little bit by the wayside and reinvent it, reinvigorate it, give it some purpose and um, uh, a new use. Uh, this building is very special because uh, in the late 1880s, um, part of a sort of public fundraising campaign uh, enabled this building, the original building, to become uh, a theatre. Everyone who sees it, it's obviously a very eye-catching building. It's a red building, uh, it reflects, it reflects the, the park in its roof, uh, it stands out obviously in amongst all of the green, um, but people are attracted to it and people are using it for the purpose that it was designed. They, they come up to this roof space which is open uh, people take photographs, they're, they're very interested in what's going on inside. Um, we have a very long wait list and I think T uh, TUMO has provided that opportunity for um, the public to reinvigorate and, and reconnect with this place, uh, which then I think we met our purpose in terms of the restoration. The building is striking, but the interior is striking too, with countless students bustling about, creating a very vibrant atmosphere. But what is TUMO's mission exactly? When we say TUMO, we need to understand the combination of design and technology. That is, education that isn't just technology or just design, but technology and design together. Sometimes one thinks that if more jobs are available in one sphere, that's where the child should be directed. In reality, we need good professionals in every sphere. It's important that the learning by playing component isn't rooted into TUMO's education. What's unique about TUMO's education is that all the knowledge it gives to kids is immediately put into practice. Presently, we have 2,000 students both from Gyumri and the surrounding regions. Our goal is to expand to remote communities, both villages and towns. We will do so through TUMO boxes. But what's a hub and what's a box? TUMO hubs are basically the main centers, located currently in Yerevan, Dilijan, Gyumri and Stepanagert. Boxes are smaller centers which are under the umbrella of their nearest hub. Currently, boxes exist in towns like Sevan and Gavar, but TUMO Gyumri is planning boxes to be established in towns like Maralik and Artik. But what can Lena tell us about the educational process? TUMO organizes its education according to three main components – self-learning, classes and workshops. In terms of gender, our male-to-female ratio is nearly balanced. There are more males in the more technical spheres, but what's peculiar is that those same spheres have very skilled and professional female teachers, which further serves as an impetus for girls to become leaders in that sphere. As TUMO continues to expand across Armenia, Tumor Gyumri has awoken new life into a derelict part of the city. Once known for its earthquake-damaged buildings, this zone, much like other areas of Gyumri, is blossoming once again. 